Hey there, so 7AI tools and how to use them and how to apply it to your business right now. So basically, we hear a lot about uh, all AI magic, all AI tools, especially recently all this boom of GPT chat and other tools, right? But uh, where is the real implementation of it? Where, how you personally can make money for your business using AI tools? So we have just a GPT chat is most common thing with all analogs or cloud or the BART uh, thing and so on, right? Uh, and the Microsoft. So, but what, what it does actually just generates the headers for your copy, some copy maybe itself, and uh, some ads or so. So you can summarize the text, right? But where is the real money from it, right? Uh, another part of stuff could be like a majority maybe, right? Or any other tool that generate the images, right? It's good in images, applicable somehow for some type of business, but probably um, not for everybody, right? So. Um, and YouTube has a ton of videos about uh, how to use AI tools, which are actually either uh, the same GPT chat majority or maybe Notion or Jasper, right? Which is same copy stuff. Um, on the other side, we have a ton of videos about some Python and how people use this Python stuff and how people do the programming, right? But uh, even these guys who do the, the Python, if you do the Python, right? So you know that all of these videos about some like generic implementation here and there, but uh, how to apply it, how to make the tool from it, how to make the real money from this stuff. And in this video, I'll show you how exactly to do it. So my name is Alex and I automate a business all around the world helping more than 20,000 businesses all around the globe. And in this video, I'll show you how to apply seven tools for your business, how to make real money from this AI stuff. Okay, and let's jump to it. So I want to start uh, this explanation with a service that calls 11 Labs. So our first case will be about uh, generation of voice, right? And it's not uh, just uh, something that uh, we, we you saw before maybe. Uh, how we can apply it for the business in reality could be some uh, call called calling machine, for example, that we can create. So uh, this service allows us uh, to create own uh, voice. So what I do here, for example, I can go and uh, instant cloning kind of my voice, right? For this, you simply upload uh, several files uh, with your voice and then system uh, using these files, let's call it uh, voice uh, to say, right, and you just click this one, you give it a couple of minutes to train it, and then you will get your own voice cloned, uh, which is super interesting, right? So then what we can do, we can clone voices, say, of our salespeople, right? And just assume uh, we can start call, initiate, do this call, calling with uh, our uh, people voice, right? And this, uh, what will happen if I will create automation? So basically for automation and um, the systems that I mentioned, right? Because we assume this will, will work on autopilot first, and then it will be uh, relatively easy to implement. So for this, you can spend like, I don't know, maybe three, five minutes, um, uh, to do it. I actually have a course on how to use this platform that calls make.com. You can get a free account of make. If you just go down below, uh, you will see a link uh, with a uh, account uh, to do, you will see a link to make platform and you can get an account with a 10,000 operation per month. So then uh, what we do here, I do have my sales uh, spreadsheet. So see here, I have a customer that want to call my sales rep and I have the IV of uh, this voice I generated. Okay, so then, just as you know, I will have more of these guys and I can dynamically map the values from my Google Sheet uh, with a voice ID that I want to use, right? And um, a text I want to uh, use also. So see, we have here a customer, this is the name and so on and a text of this presentation. So then uh, we simply run our automation and that's what we're going to get. I don't build the whole complete thing, but you will see uh, uh, the, the beginning of uh, this one. And if we go to our Google Drive, right, uh, you can see something like this in our recording. We now have uh, uh, generated. This is Alex with ABC SpaceX reaching out. I know we talked briefly about our new software offering, and I wanted to see if you had any additional questions I could answer for you. 
Okay, so this is what's generated from my voice, uh, and it's on free account. On a paid account, you can get even more. And uh, what you can also use for this, it's a studio, the Twilio Studio, right? So I built a, so from scratch this template that you can see. We get a trigger, some automation that will start the thing. So then we call in a customer, and then we playing our uh, record, right, uh, that we created. And then when the customer replies, we... Uh, do this thing. So actually, when the customer replies, we play uh, the record, and then we connect um, our uh, sales rep. So this uh, machine could work like 24-7 and will save a ton of time. And this is a uh, first use case I just want to present you real quick. Uh, actually, uh, by the end of this video, stay tuned, and you will get all these templates and details how to install them. So we go to um, case number two, uh, where we will speak about, uh, I know, I mentioned uh, like uh, GPT chat stuff uh, uh, is like not super useful, but it's not super useful uh, unless you combine this all together and you will build this kind of working machine. So this machine actually does a posting automatically, right? So with the first module of GPT, as you can see here, I uh, tell it, generate a post within uh, 2,800 characters for LinkedIn about, say, marketing history, for example, right? And the second module will generate an image uh, prompt for me, okay? So create a prompt for AI generate, blah, blah, blah. And this is the example of this prompt that I'm giving uh, to it. So I will have two pieces of text. Uh, to generating images, I will use uh, this service that's called Sleep um, AI. Uh, what you can also use will be another service I can show you it calls uh, so Leonardo AI, super uh, cool service. You can start to use it also for free, but for API or the automation one, you will need to get a paid account. So it's compatible, I would say, uh, with a majority, but it has uh, API. So that means it could be uh, completely automated. So I'll start my automation to run to generate the post on my LinkedIn. So meanwhile, uh, we can go to my LinkedIn page and see my posts, right? So see this guy is here. This is the last one. And in a minute, that uh, post uh, will be created and posted. So pause where you're real quick and we will see this in a second. Okay, so our uh, image started to be generated. So we wait a couple of uh, seconds, actually about a minute maybe here to be generated. And now our post will be done. So it's a couple of seconds. Uh, to go and meanwhile i want to mention to you so if you want to learn how to use the make platform uh, uh in the upper con upper corner you will have a link to my full course on how to use make.com platform so just take and use it it's completely free uh for you and meanwhile if you have any questions or notes or ideas about this automation please go below and put a command put your like share this video to your friends and colleagues also but first of all put the command i want to know your feedback and your ideas what you want to see in further stuff so uh, i will create for you so basically here you see we done this uh post i'm going to remove it definitely but meanwhile uh, but before we go into see it so see here we got my post with a sum image generated, so it could definitely do, you can definitely do better, but see this text and everything and all these hashes. So that's what you can achieve. And again, it takes just a couple of minutes for initial setup for fine tune, maybe an hour or less, but you will have a generation machine for your leads in uh, LinkedIn, right? And you can also use the platform to automate the feedbacks and so on. Uh, and actually with this one, we go to one more case, um, which uh, about emails. So our email um, inbox is still a pretty busy thing. And uh, with this automation, uh, what we actually can do here, I'll show you in a second. So we have um, our uh, Gmail where I'm going to send some email with an inquiry about the product. Uh, actually here, uh, interesting thing. So um, I'm going to use this tool, which is analog of ChatGPT. And for you who don't know, I just want to share how you can use it. I use both. So that's maybe uh, not so um, uh, um, 
like so compatible with a GPT-4, but it for sure does not not worse than uh, 3.5 Turbo. So this calls uh, Cloud AI. You can just type it. It's Anthropic uh, two uh, Anthropic company, and and it's too it's too available right now via um, like uh, VPN for registration. So if you're outside of US or UK, you can just uh, go with the VPN of uh, one of these countries for registration, and then. Uh, you can use it without VPN, it's free. And as you can see here, I generated an email, right? That will be kind of inquiry about the product. I'm going to send to myself, to uh, my inbox to simulate uh, some customer uh, that sent uh, something. So let's uh, do like inquiry and I will send this email over. So now I can run my automation and this automation uh, will go and process uh, this email. Meanwhile, I want to explain what it will do. It will uh, create a summary of it, and I will get it in my inbox uh, with a complete uh, description of what this customer wants to do and so on. If uh, this customer is a prospect, we will also move this customer to uh, one of my folders. So if we just reload this. So you see now I got a summary and my email already in my prospect uh, like tag or uh, folder, right? So you can classify your stuff. Uh, plus uh, one more important thing that, that I do with this one is I'm uh, creating a draft which contains, if I go to my draft, so you will see here, it's a complete proposal uh, for my uh, customer uh, and it contains everything, like all details about this customer and the context of initial email. So what we've done once again, we used uh, OpenAI API in this case uh, with a, it's a, actually Turbo uh, 3.5. You can use GPT-4 also here, which is more powerful model. And we will uh, first pretend we are a business analyst to analyze the text of this email. We'll create the instruction um, uh, like everything will be returned in, in HTML and we will send it uh, to ourselves. So see, it's relatively easy to build it. And uh, by the end of the video, I'll show you how to uh, like take this as a template and build uh, in your uh, like uh, account in a matter of seconds. So then we are posting this to my uh, folder of prospects. So you can put a filter or so if you want, right? And uh, then we have this... Uh, another block or module, as we call them, where we create a text of um, a business proposal, right? So, and uh, and again, you can instruct it how to do it. And I put this business proposal in my drafts. So I can then read it, approve it, edit. But this everything done in a matter of minutes, as you see, and uh, it's everything automatically uh, done. We don't need to spend time on it. So uh, let's uh, not stop with this one. And let's go to one more interesting use case. So we mentioned uh, social medias and so on. But uh, this uh, Tizen service uh, is really cool. Uh, what they do, actually, uh, let me show you. The page they manage a content so it's a content moderation and um, i intentionally uh got this post created for you so as you see here we got like post in our social media and we have several commands so uh what my automation will do with it it will analyze these posts and based on their text right we go into if if it will have abuses types I have one spam message actually here and one abuse. So if you can read this uh, complete garbage and so on, and this one, like buy our amazing product. So these two should actually gone automatically. So see here, we got abuse. We automatically remove this post. You can uh, set up any type of logic. If you want, you can automatically reply on it and do many other stuff, but let's go uh, and check it out. So basically I just getting my post and see here first abuse was removed. Another one was filtered and the third one with a spam was also removed and the fourth was passed through. So if we go back and we if we refresh our page, so you can see here that we got uh, one command left, right? Uh, actually two, this just uh, collapsed. So basically see here, two commands left, we removed automatically spam one. So uh, as you can imagine how much time you can spend uh, on 
you know, managing all your posts and replies uh, and how much money you can pay your people who do it, right? So basically, this will do it for you. And as you see, it takes just a couple of minutes literally to set it up. Uh, and yeah, you can go look and spend, if you spend like an hour or so, you can do a complete system for content management in your company. Uh, so let's go to a case with this guy. So basically, there are several services already uh, around that work with your documents. Uh, what is important and how why is important? It's um, systems uh, that allow you to create um, like a wiki uh, of your business or uh, a chat, right? So it's internal uh, documentation system inside your company or it's a kind of a, a robot or uh, a chat system, so you can connect it to your support ticket tool, uh, service desk thing, right? Uh, like, uh, I don't know, like Intercom, maybe, uh, or uh, whatever you use, uh, Zendesk, maybe, right? Um, to uh, answer about the question. So, what I got here is actually um, the Virgin uh, Cruises. Okay, so this is the document itself. So, as you see, it's a um, complete uh, like a description of all cruise decks with the things happening on each of these kind of deck or uh, as you may call it floor <laughs> probably these people call them decks right uh, and what I want to do is actually say I want to be on I don't know like on the floor 16 right uh, and I, I I want to know what on this floor for example or what I want to know, let's say, where is the uh, aquatic club, for example, right? So I don't know. So I just message uh, to the system uh, to ask this. So I have a couple of questions. <clears throat> and let's uh, just put the third one actually to know uh, where is this thing on, say, what floor is aquatic lab and so on so i have like f uh, three actually questions and let's uh jump to get the reply so as you see it's not connected to system yet but you can get it in in a matter of seconds again if you have your uh zendesk or something you can connect it real quick so i go to uh the system uh, to show you, well, let's check the questions. Meanwhile, so literally, if you have some like Zendesk or something, you can just uh, literally uh, reply on the ticket so you see all modules available. So, question number one on what floor is Sun Club Bar? And we got deck 16, right? So, if we go on deck 16, we should be able to see our Sun Club Bar, right? It's on deck number 16. But if we go to the this one so we see our uh aquatic club is located on deck number 15 and to build it it literally takes a couple of minutes uh, we have several services like this uh see how i build it so you just uh got an account of this wheezy chat something you just click on create an inbound and you put a data sources so you can put your website link right it will scan the whole website and do the stuff for you if it's open definitely right and files uh you can put my file files here so you literally click and select your uh scarlet lady in my case uh pdf you click upload you click uh train chatbot it takes a couple of uh, minutes to uh, go through your files and you're done. So now you have automatic uh, answering machine, which actually could potentially replace the whole support for you. And and again, or make uh, some you know suggestion for people for your customers. Do a proposals, whatever you like. Ton of things possible. So okay, so it was case number five where we built this answering machine. So the case number six, uh, which is really interesting thing I want to share with you, will be an uh, option to parse our internet. Okay, so if we go to our tool that called uh, Browse AI, it creates a robots for you that monitor the internet, and it can do like a data ex extraction or monitoring uh, of changes. So you can go with a uh, scrap from scratch. 
which I actually have done and uh, see how it works. So uh, like I built a new robot and then extract structured data. Uh, for this, I take, say, my URL, which is uh, here. It's a Zillow, for example, location. Okay, so I just uh, take this without parameters. Okay, so see this, right? I literally copy this address into my uh, robot builder. What is funny, it proposed at once some existing recipes, right? So it le extract leads from Zillow and so on. So you click on this and uh, literally uh, put the URL, just copy this once again, and you put a couple of uh, like number of properties that you want to extract. So that's will create a new robot for you will start to pull addresses. So I have one done ready for me. And um, uh, as you can see here, this is the one that is running. I will run my own that I have ready. Um, and that will uh, return for me. So say five properties uh, from this homes thing. Uh, by the nature, it works a bit uh, differently. So we have um, two uh, automated, like two scenarios or two flows uh, that serving this stuff. So basically the one is initiated. So you can set uh, a trigger or so. Again, you have a link um, above uh, for my uh, course where you can go through all this advanced thing or you can just uh, wait and I'll show you how to build the templates and don't forget to like the video and put your comments uh, about what you want to see more um, about these use cases and new stuff. So at regular intervals, for example, every 15 minutes or like every day, 9 a.m. something, right? So whatever, whatever you choose, it will do this automation for you. So literally it will run, say, every 9 a.m. And it will then execute this task while another scenario simply waiting for this task being done and puts your data into property spreadsheet. So if we go here, so see my spreadsheet currently is empty. As soon as my automation will be executed and will um, pull like this uh, all these uh, records, we will see them inside uh, the system. So meanwhile, I go back uh, to show you a result, right? So this is the new robot that I just created for you. Okay. And uh, if you want to uh, go to dashboard, you can start with a pre-built template. So see how many we have these guys here, right? So it's a ton of them, including like things like a TikTok, even like some Expedia uh, and so on. So you can extract a ton of data. Also, uh, these uh, pre-built uh, robots and new robots that you can create could also go and monitor uh, the, say, price changes. So why test one? Uh, it's relatively simple. So you go to build a new one in the Google plugin and you literally point on the price that you want to check or the text you want to know. Uh, in crypto, I remember it's like a news, maybe some coming in, same on a, a, any like a financial market, right? So you just check some page where news may come up or you change the price change on a whatever Best Buy when you monitor and you want to resell something or it's same applicable to Amazon, whatever thing you do. Okay, so we go to our automation, which actually should be finished already. And as you can see here, it's done. Uh, we spent like seven operation here and we built five properties. So if I go in my uh, Google Sheet, I just will expand this a bit to say 200 pixels. And here we go. So we got all our properties from uh, Miami uh, Beach. And as you see here, right, so we got all this stuff with the images, with the number of bats, with the footage, square footage, with a description, and with a link to my property. Super simple, but super powerful. And again, it's created in a matter of like minutes, right? So this, and uh, you just create this automation and you will get a template of this as an example, right? So super simple. I just iterate my lists, right? So my results, and then I just put variables. So see in almost plain way, so just formula for image. I uh, use it to put it in a Google sheet. Super simple and super powerful. As a seventh uh, one, I prepared for you interesting tool that uh, calls 
uh, if you may know it already, it calls the Wolfram Alpha. Uh, this is really interesting uh, service, uh, which was existing prior, definitely, all this AI boom, but it does amazing stuff, right? Uh, it's actually embedded in the GPT, but uh, you may not know that you can use it via API and build nice and really great automations uh, from it. So let me uh, just uh, show you the thing. So for example, you can work with the transportation and calculate the distance, maybe how much fuel spent your truck or uh, you know how much time need to do something or go and time days and um, ton of stuff. So each of these topics uh, will bring you ton of idea on how to use it. So see uh, all details uh, many financial stuff on the market stocks and everything it's like uh, you might have some you know stock thing or pricing page but this literally does a lot of mathematical equations and things so let's uh, bring to reality this one so what i want to do say i have uh, several cities that i want to uh, use and get at prices and let's just run it so see again you can run it and every day for example super quick get details about say gasoline so right now i'm, I'm checking the fuel price literally in uh, different biggest cities right so 10 cities and uh, here you go my uh google sheet already fi almost fill it in with uh, all these results so we have two nine and ten i just want to make them a bit uh, bigger and here you go so you got the current price right plus you got some graph for example that returns the wolfram uh for us so uh it's it's again um you can do many interesting thing uh related to to this one just go and play uh, with a thing like, I don't know, total length or roads in Spain, for example, right? So, and you see uh, these details. Okay, and now guys, as promised, uh, I'll show you how to install these templates uh, at once into your account. So basically, uh, when you get a free account, it will look uh, like this, so you won't see anything in it. So you just click this magic button, create new scenario, appears almost on any place of make account. And then you go this below, so see more button, and you click import blueprint. Then you choose the files that will be uh, downloaded by the links I will provide below uh, by this video. So you just open this uh, blueprint, you click save, and here you go, you got your uh, scenario. So now you just need to set a schedule, maybe check the, some variables, so whatever uh, connections, right? So if you don't have connection, just click create connection. You saw how I, I, I created them and you have this scenario. This is a real implementation of AI in your business that may uh, bring a good impact, right? Which uh, will bring a money inside your business, not just this uh, funny images or funny text that you generated. Okay, so uh, please guys, once again, please like this video, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you want to see in following videos, what ideas you want to implement, uh, any questions about this. It was nice to meet you and see you soon.